Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, all right. So let's take a look at how we can export this to a PNG. So it's actually quite simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, to File, Export, and then you have a bunch of different options here. You can have Export for Screens, but the one we want here is Save for Web. Also, please note the uh, hotkeys here as alt shift control s this will be different on a mac so let's click that here and this is by far the easiest way to um uh, to take a look and to export at uh, your your image here now this image is huge so i'm gonna go and change this to 25 percent now as you can see there's a bunch of different options on the um on the right hand side here and you can select either a GIF, JPEG, or the different PNG options. Of course, PNG 24 um, it has a, a much more quality than PNG 8, so it's going to be bigger. PNGs are tend to be pretty big. Now, you'll notice that my wheel here, uh, uh, if you can see that, was was crunching a bit. And the reason is, is that this is a huge graphic. Look at this. We got width 4,000 by 2,000, all right? So that is quite uh, quite big. Now, oftentimes when you are working with PNGs, you need to change the percentage. Now, one thing you can do is you click this um, this chain link here. And if you click it together, you know, let's say you need a 1,200. Well, it will size everything proportionally, okay? Um, and I'm just going to go back to that. Um, and you can see here uh, that, you know, if you uncheck this, then you can skew it one way or another. And, and then it will, will basically distort the image. And you generally do not want that. So if you are going to change the amount of pixels, you can do that here. Now, you can also change the percentage. And oftentimes, I just do this. Uh, because I'm not usually looking to export to exact pixels unless it's for, let's say, an iPhone uh, store page because I've, Apple's really picky about that. So nevertheless, uh, you can go and change the percentage here and you'll notice that the size will change as well. So you can also, you know, go back to 100%. And remember that uh, vector graphics are resolution independent, meaning that unless there is a pixel issue, uh, then... Um, as in if you get really, really small, like if we turn this to, let's say, 10 pixels, right? Uh, you know, you're, you're not going to get a loss of, of quality, at least for the most part. So um, let's just put that back to 1920 because uh, this is a, a nice size here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And this is a pretty nice graphic too, which I downloaded from Pixabay if you don't already know that site. All right, so there's one last option here. You can add an art optimized or type optimized. Um, you, you'll see that there is a little bit of a difference there. And when you're done, you all you have to do is push save. And that is how you export to BNGs quickly in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in another tutorial.